Welcome to Unlimited Lives, everybody. I'm your host, TJ, and with me is my cousin, Ian. Welcome from Dracula's Castle for the Halloween episode uh, of uh, Unlimited Lives Radio. <laughs> no, this isn't the Halloween, the Halloween one oh, was it's before. Not? No, no, no. You oh, were way off. I had a whole thing. I was going to be Dracula oh. the whole time. Oh, did you? You had a whole yeah, thing? I was oh, going to I was going to say, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Do you ever play that? What is it? It's a Dracula line. It's at the beginning of Symphony of the Night. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, you should you should look that up. That's great. That's uh, Dracula's First... having a conversation with Richter Belmont, and there's all these like terrible voice acting, but like actually, I, I think that line's pretty well written. Uh, let's see. It's um, Cynthia, uh, Cynthia. Symphony of the Night. Yeah, what is it like? Cut scene? Cynthia of the night. Cynthia of the night. Yeah. <laughs> is it like cutscene? Yeah, it's a cutscene at the beginning. It's like the very first thing I think that happens in Symphony of the Night. Oh. Oh, really? Richter gone. My time in the world has ended. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this one. Oh wait. The music's great. Yeah. Castlevania has always had awesome music. Maybe really my has. favorite video game music. Me. Tribute. This, this, yeah. Oh, this. Tribute. You steal men's souls, souls. and make them your slaves. <laughs> Wait. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Oh my God. Your words are as empty as your soul. The writing is good, though. Mankind I think. Ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Love that. I but love that line. Talk. Unironically, that's you? great. That is great. It's a, such a great little <laughs> sequence, and it's like, mankind ill needs a savior like you. What is a man but a miserable pile of secrets? Yeah. Anyway, what a weird. That's so, so weird. We're not going to do that. It's not Halloween, so. No, it is not Halloween. I hate to break it to you. Yeah. It is not Halloween. That's too bad. But thanks for doing the show, Ian. Yeah, thanks you for having do, me. Of course, man. <laughs> great. This has been a great show. Yeah. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is a... Uh, usually you do the TV show with me. I do do the TV show. Oh, I know. I have a lot of fun on that. And uh, I've done the radio show, I think, once before. You've done it before. Yeah, a while ago. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, not a lot since then. Uh, but it, it was super fun. I'm uh, flattered to be asked back. Oh, of course. Of course you are. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's always a fun time to do the radio. Whoop, whoop. Boop, <laughs> boop, boop. Huh? <laughs> For everyone knows, the soundboard uh, is that's, back. That's in uh, Legend of Zelda that on is, Super Nintendo that when is, you get an item. Tune out now if you don't want to hear the soundboard. <laughs> I like how I like just ruin everybody. Like I always, I have to put minimal soundboard, maximum. Like I have like I soundboard judge it. Okay. Because I don't want people. Because like people will just be like, you have to wait to turn this off. Really? Well, just because like that's it how gets, Howard Stern made his first million though is soundboards, right? Was with soundboards? I don't know. I was reading about Howard Stern today, and I'm just thinking. I think I got him on my mind. Oh, good God! Like Jackie the Joke Man Martin. Oh yeah. And then I was thinking about Artie Lang and that movie Beer League, which was criminally underrated. Oh, criminally it's underrated. Really funny. I love you call it criminally underrated. Everyone, the whole movie keeps accusing each other of having. I don't. How how blue can we get on this? Uh, we're fine. All right. That, the TV show is like we try to be clean, but this is we're fine. Well, it's it's nothing that bad. It's just everyone accuses each other of having herpes. And everyone's like, yeah, I got herpes. So do you, though, because we both had sex with that girl. And he's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's, so, it's just so freaking raunchy and like everyone's a piece of crap. I love it. Oh, that's a, what year was Beer League out? Yeah, it was early 2000s. Oh, yeah, that was a, that was a that was a tough time when it was uh, early 2000s with with uh, comedies. Yeah, was it, I was like 17 or 18. And like there's a scene with 2006. Thing. Really? Yeah, I guess I was 21. Barely, 2006. Okay. You guess you were 21? Yeah, you gotta be over 21 to watch Beer League. <laughs> I mean, you do. Yeah. You definitely do. You can't see beer on film unless you're No. Watching. You're not allowed. They go in the theater and they throw <laughs> you out. That's why they have the uh, flashlights. They come through with the flashlights <laughs> checking IDs. They don't check outside. They check once it's Oh, that's out. why. If there's beer oh. on screen and someone's under 21. Now I get Now I get it. Get out of here. What are you, uh, what do you, what have you been playing? Anything uh, fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have actually been playing, I, this past weekend I played... I'm I'm so far behind the curve on this, so every one of your fine. viewers is going to roll their eyes. But I, I just played Undertale. Oh, it was, he's so good. You I loved you it. Know, everyone said it's, it was good from the day it came out, but you know I never got around to it until it came Aww. out for Switch, and I I loved it. And you love it now? Yeah, absolutely. Like you know, ten out of ten. Undertale, I gotta try it. Yeah, I've been playing that. Uh, I'm always got Overwatch in the rotation. I've been playing oh. some Soul Calibur, 
Some Red Dead Redemption oh, 2. Oh, that's right. Which I'm sure is the only thing most of the viewers are playing. But. That is true. Everyone keeps talking about it. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little slow for my taste. Uh, is it? Yeah. You know, the ho- every, <laughs> that's the joke. The horse is slow. The, yeah. The doing stuff is slow. I heard everything is slow. Yeah, which is, there's an appeal to it. I understand that. I kind of like it. It's just, you know, I'm I'm in it for, I like games for arcadey stuff. Or yeah. Like, you know, I, I don't know. I have a short attention span. You do? Yeah, I think for games, definitely. I think I do. I find it like hard with t- cut scenes. I always constantly look at the phone. Yeah. It, it's like really tough for me to like, you know, watch the whole thing. 99 games out of 100. It's like, yeah, I know this story. The guy's mad at something. Well, something yeah. happened. He's getting revenge. He's I looking mean, for someone to beat. I don't know. Like, I don't care. Like, I, it's not a story. It's just no. like, it's just a set of the same plot points telling more or less the yeah. same story. Or it's like if you watch like... um. If you play like a JRPG, it's the same crap. Just, I'm just tired of hearing. Incomprehensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of hearing the same king. Oh, good the evil, evil kingdom versus mm-hmm. the good king. Mm-hmm. The prince. They've stolen oh. the power of the fire crystals. Yeah, of Only course. you can stop them. And you have of to go course. around to every crystal and you yep. stop them at every crystal. And yet somehow they still get the power of all the crystals. It's like, well, what was I doing yeah. the whole time? Yeah. And I yours... tricked you. That's how I unlocked the power of the exactly. crystals. Now I'm going to elevate to become a, a high dark king. And then it's like, <laughs> you'll never stop me now. And then it's you so stop bad. him and that's the final boss. Well, it's also bad just because it's a, you always sleep and wake up. <laughs> You always, you're always asleep. You yeah. wake up, hero. It's the same crap. Oh, when it starts? Always. Oh, my God. Always. What was it? Like, this is how bad that is, is, what was it called? There was there was one JRPG for, like, N64 that came out. It, was, it had, like, a very simple name, like, Legend or Story or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but my buddy had it. And the whole first, like... I, I remember like I you know this was like in the mid late 90s and I just went through beat by beat it's like yeah the hero wakes up this guy's a doofus so he's gonna fall over like when he comes down the stairs yeah. and he falls over and I'm like it's like have you played this before I'm like I've never played it before just all of these things are so stock and you guessed it and this is me like you know I'm not even like in puberty yet and I'm like I already know what's going on because that's how lazy they are with writing this stuff they just always are yeah. it's it's like it's like if someone comes in with a good story they're like hey we have a good story and then they're like deny <laughs> Every time we used to stand in each other's way, like we just stopped dead and someone would walk into us and they'd be like, yo, and we'd be like, this is the furthest town on the map. <laughs> like the NPCs and RPGs would be like, there's, you know, there's a dragon living in the castle near here. <laughs> like if you just stop and make someone, oh, yeah, walk. by the way, remember how they'd always get in your way and you'd be like, just move. And oh, like, yeah. you'd be like, Hey, get out of the way. They'd be like, there's a dragon nearby. <laughs> So we'd always do that to each other. Do you remember? And then I know recently me and you played, um, or we tried to play, which we're going on a trip, which I want to play a little bit more, is we were playing River City Ransom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Uh, So I looked it up a little bit because I wanted to, because we played it and you never played it, which I thought was like so interesting. Um, It was, uh, so River City Ransom, and it was later released as Street Gangs (laughs) in (laughs) in a PAL region. Okay. I don't know what that means. But uh, you remember, like, we always talked about, like, how think, bad the stories is. I think PAL is Europe, but yeah, keep Is on. it? Yeah. Uh, so, so, remember we were playing it, you were like, oh, it's so slow. Yeah. And I was like, this story is so bad, because it's very double dragoning, and it's, uh, it was Alex and Ryan, you follow high school students, Alex and Ryan, as they cross River City in an attempt to rescue River City High and Ryan's girlfriend, Cindy, from the clutches of a villain called Slick. <laughs> So they're supposed to, so you're supposed to, I didn't realize this. You're supposed to rescue River City High. I guess the high school. Yeah. Bullies took over the yeah, sure high that school. Happens. Wait, how many bullies? On a, on, like, Along the way, you battle with gangs of students. Number one, why is the, why is the school letting students have gangs? That's number one. Uh, dude, that's River City, man. The administration's <laughs> oh, been going downhill since Reagan. <laughs> oh, has it? Well, yeah. listen, I used to be on the parent-teacher conference table, but I stopped. <laughs> and, well, let's see. The gangs with such names as the generic dudes, the frat guys, the jocks, or the squids. Okay, like two of those are cool gang names. The that generic dudes, the generic guys or generic dudes? Generic dudes. Of course it's dudes. This game was from the 90s. Yeah, that's awesome. And, Everything and in the, the 90s. And the squids was- is great. Yeah. The frat guys, it's like, okay. <laughs> the frat guys, yeah, it's like everyone has it. I like that game because it's like, it feels so punk rock to me. Really? Like just the whole attitude of it, the whole everything, like the punk rock community has like so many references to River City Ransom throughout. What? It just does, it's just something, they're like tied together. It's like just a nostalgic game that's just underground enough. 
<laughs> that like everyone still kind of knows it, but like Mario's a little too mainstream, you know? Yeah, Mario's like, a little too. Even Mega Man, but like River City Ransom, like not everyone knows it, but enough people do know and it. Like it just kind of hits that perfect chord. It's very punk rock. And then it feels like, you know, DIY, you go out and you fight, you beat up guys. You're just like this kind of like hooligan going around fighting people. River well, City's a cool name. River, yeah, River City Ransom's a, a cool name. But don't you think, don't you think also that number one, you guys are like best friends, right? Me and Slick? Yeah, you and Slick are best friends. Where is, here we go. Uh, Alex and... Alex and Ryan. Mm. But you, you're you just, so Alex and Ryan, and you're just supposed to rescue River City High and Ryan's girlfriend. So like, Alex, it's not, his girlfriend's not there. Yeah, but they need a player too. I mean, they do, but don't you think like... All right, if I'll say this, if what? your girlfriend got kidnapped and the school got taken over by a bunch of gangs... <laughs> And you were like, yo, you got to help me. I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll go help you rescue your kidnapped girlfriend and save the school from a bunch of gangs. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Um, yeah, but that's so weird. Yeah. It's just weird because Alex is like, either Alex is single or like isn't dating. He's like, I'm not looking. I'm fine. Yeah. Or his girlfriend's home. And I she's think his like, girlfriend just didn't get kidnapped. To, yeah, she was just fine. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. stayed home. Honestly, they probably had a fight about it. She's like, why'd you go to rescue Ryan's girlfriend? Like, why we were supposed to have a date. And he goes, yeah, this was important. She goes, I thought I was important. <laughs> and he's like, oh, Christ. Uh, oh, God, this is, what are we doing? Uh, I got to go to school. It's taken over by gangs. It's <laughs> <laughs> taken over by gangs. Um, let's start with talking about the cool stuff. Uh, what do you want to start with? Because I don't, I don't have the list of news stories in front of me. I, oh. I picked them all out, but I don't no, have. You it. did, you did a great job. But I'm saying, I guess BlizzCon because that's the biggest thing. Yeah. So uh, as of recording day, that just happened this afternoon. Crap on a cracker it started. Yeah. Crap on a cracker. Yeah. Yeah. That's my review of it. <laughs> I just don't like how BlizzCon started it, and it's like they just have like four J.C. Penny models. On the thing being like, whoa, hey, we're going live. Pretty cool. Well, here's the weird thing is I spent a lot of time watching Overwatch League. Yeah. And there's so many people who were like announcers for Overwatch League who I guess also just do BlizzCon announcing and yeah, stuff. Like there's a guy named Malik who does it. Like I, 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 like, I like Malik. There's like yeah. a bunch of the guys. I'm like, yeah, these guys are charming. They're good presenters. They know their stuff. I just want to hate on them. I know you do. I do because I want to do it. The problem is, is that all the people actually doing the announcing are developers or like product leagues, yeah. uh, product leads or executive producers, like, you know, whatever title they want to give the people who are like building the games. Mm -hmm. And none of them, it's so no cringe inducing. They have no stage presence. They have no idea what they're doing. Oh, they're terrible. Uh, one dude was like really trying to be like excited and like get the crowd pumped up. And it was like, you know, you have to respect the effort, but like, he was the best out of all of them, but it was still like, uh, still like watching a rock kind of talk to people. <laughs> yeah. They're just so bad. Yeah. It's always so bad. Not to mention like there were a lot of dumb technical issues, oh, like, no. weird stuff. Okay. So here's what happened. The, uh, oh, there's good. a, there's a woman who's like, she's like, Oh, look at the crowd. They're all so excited. Right. Yeah. And I don't think the mic was coming through the speaker or something. Cause the crowd was so off on its reactions. Everything was like, everyone's excited. Right. And like a few people near her kind of cheered, but that was it. And that was it. <laughs> and she's like, okay. And we're going live here. We have someone dressed as, you know, and there's like a guy who's wearing a diva cosplay. Yeah. And she's like, you know, what, what, where are you from? And what are you and dressed like, as? What? I can't hear you. Oh, and God. then she asked again and he goes, oh, I'm Diva. And he goes, where are you coming from? What was that? Oh, my God. Where are you coming from? Orange County. And it like takes place in Anaheim, which is like the same place. <laughs> oh, like, Jesus. Oh, so not that bad of a trip. Huh? It must have been an easy trip. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're so excited oh to get my started. God. The, whole thing, the whole thing seems like a car crash. It's like that. That's the whole thing. Oh God, I'm cringing at these this is what, soundboards. They're stuff. bad. Here's another bad one. This is this is her talking to the guy. <laughs> what are you dressed as? <laughs> what? <laughs> TJ. Yeah. How many of those do you even have? Oh, dude, like What's 50? the number? Fifty. Oh. Like, uh, let me see. Hold on. It's like seven windows open. No, no, no. Like, what's the total? Like, is the number above or below? 500 is above way high it's like a thousand oh it's it's like way wait, it's, oh, wait. How, oh you want to know how many tell me what the number is oh it's just it's give me over nine thousand. 
This is why I need a soundboard for you so that you can do it. <laughs> that would take a lot. It was like pulling teeth oh, to dude, get that. Be, this whole show would just be soundboards back and forth. Anyway, uh, there's good instincts on that that I didn't catch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally like mouthing it to him. I know, and, like, and I'm I just like stupidly being like, enough. I think he wants what? <laughs> uh, there was also a guy who was giving a Hearthstone presentation. Mike did not work. Oh, Jesus. You could kind of hear him at first because I think they had like the audience mic'd or the stage mic'd or something. Uh, you could kind of hear him. And then they cut all the sound because it like sounded too weird. I think they're trying to work out the mic issues for him. Really? And they didn't. So it was just like silent. And the guy's sitting there and he's talking and you can't hear anything. And he doesn't know the mic's not working. And they stayed on that for like maybe a full minute. <gasps> he's just talking like to no one? To no one. And then they cut oh, they that. cut that feed and they went to like the next announcement. Oh, Jesus. But so basically it was kind of a technical disaster. It was cringe inducing to watch. It was just like, ugh. I was like, ugh, this is they're not your best They're all cringe inducing to watch. But um, if you want to, let's go through some of the announcements yeah let's go made. through yeah okay so um so the first one you said world of warcraft classic demo yeah yeah the, so they're putting out world of warcraft classic do you remember a few years ago someone just took the code for world of warcraft like yeah. the first version because oh, they've changed that. it so much and they had yes. their server up for free and yes. blizzard filed a cease and desist and made them shut it down or they're oh. gonna get sued so Blizzard's putting out World of... And then Blizzard said, there's no way we can do this. This isn't a service anyone wants. And they're like, well, yes, it is. Because, you know, 75,000 people were playing on this other server. Like, people do yeah. want that. So Blizzard's finally coming out with World of Warcraft Classic. So people can play the old one. Oh. And I think you get it for free if you already have a World of Warcraft subscription. I so. remember that game. Yeah. With the peons, like, ready to work. No, that's Warcraft 3. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. No, like the first version World of World of Warcraft. Of Warcraft. The MMO. Yeah, like 2005, 2006, whenever oh, it came God. out. Oh, God, why do people want to replay that? Liz, my girlfriend, would love that. They liked the original version. They think it's a lot of people like don't like the direction they took it in. Like, yeah. they feel like it's they hold your hand too much or it's, uh, you know, whatever their complaint is. Oh, they geez. just like the original. And you can't play the original. I never played the original. Yeah. I didn't do that. I got in on after some of the expansions, so, you know. I mean, people like it. Yeah, people I like it. I thought it was like Warcraft it. 1. So this is, uh, I mean, we all, I think everyone knew this was coming out, so that's not a big surprise. Uh, good on Blizzard for doing it, but honestly, like, screw them. Just let the freaking fans have their own server. Who cares? I guess it's like 15 bucks a month from some people that uh, they want. I mean, so. Yeah, that's the money. Yeah, it's like, and you don't really. their property and they developed it. I'm like all for abolishing copyright laws very yeah. early. Like I am for something that old. For some, yeah, for something that wasn't making a profit. If those guys had never started a fan server, Server, this they would have service made no wouldn't money. have existed though. No, they never would have came out with this. So like, screw you, Blizzard. Like that was a dead. That code was dead. Like yeah. what World of Warcraft is today has probably eight lines of code across twenty five million lines of code. That's yeah. the same as it originally was, right? I don't know. I mean, it's just like the same. I mean, it's it's. You're completely right about if they didn't do it, it wouldn't have been out there. Mm -hmm. We tried doing a uh, this radio show tried doing an MMO, but oh yeah, so, yeah, failed. No, nah, that's too bad. Yeah, it just was a. Uh, you know, it was about me yeah. and John was... Oh, you were making one. Not, yeah, I was making one. I thought yeah. you meant you all tried to play one together. No, we tried to made one. Okay, go on. Yeah, and it was pretty cool. Like, Carlo was was like a pig monster. Okay. And then and John, John was a wizard. Okay. But he couldn't cast spells. Well, that's... Because, in what sense is he a wizard? Because <laughs> he knew stuff. So he's like he carried books. A librarian, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> more than a wizard. Yeah, yeah. and then Crystal. Was, there's a wizard at the library who always helps me go through the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> that's John, but, but they don't know any spells. Yeah, that was John. That was but that, it's a that's, wizard. Yeah, that's what. He, that's what his character would have been. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was I was a mage, half elf, uh, half half uh, cheese pizza, <laughs> half cheese pizza. Like, what does that mean? You have, like, greasy, cheesy yeah. skin. Yeah, it was made of cheese. Just made of cheese? Yep. Where was the, the sauce was your blood? Uh-huh. Bones are your Marinade. bread. Marinade. <laughs> bones are your... Oh, my God. The bones were were, were breadsticks. Uh, I don't know if you've... Uh, this, this sounds is, great. This does sound great. Thanks, man. I would love to just have, like, breadsticks with cheese on them. I would love to have, like, a deep dish Chicago pizza with nothing, just where it's, like, to, like tomato sauce in a bread bowl <laughs> oh. <laughs> with cheese. <laughs> oh, I love deep dish. I want all that. I want all that right now. Well, I should have because I'm carbo loading. So, oh, good. Yeah, that's right. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't go off. We wanted to call it Unlimited Lives, the MMO. Yeah. Please buy. It would have had three. Please buy was in the. It would have had three characters, and they were all actually specific individuals, which yeah. is not. I see where you stepped off from the MMO formula. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't play online. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but we called an MMO to get that audience, oh, but yeah. it wasn't online yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going to unlock online for about 100 a month. Yeah? Yeah. Where were you going to... Who was going to do this for you guys? <laughs> who was going to make this? Blizzard. <laughs> Blizzard. <laughs> I t- we did a we did a trial and then they told us to cease and desist and they then they came up with uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, <laughs> they came up with it, um, but they did a better version. I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a dick here. Go on. I don't think them coming up with World of Warcraft had anything to do with what you just told me. <laughs> no, I think so. I'm telling you. I don't you. think so. I'm telling you, it's the same thing. I think you're being very very laudatory of your own oh, failure. No, if I knew what that word was, I'd be upset. <laughs> it means you're, you're proud and celebrating something what? that you didn't do well. <laughs> what? Well, that's way I said very it very well. Um, and then they announced Orphea, announced for oh, Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, that's like that's not a big deal. Uh, if you play Heroes of the Storm, it's exciting. Heroes of the Storm, you know, it's like the Dota or like a League of Legends style game that Blizzard has. So they just announced a new original character whose name's Orphea. So she's not from any Blizzard franchise, unlike I think all the rest of the characters. Because oh, they all the rest are. She looks like a white-haired like witch. Uh, yeah, she's like got like a gravestone on her back or something like that. Oh my god, yeah, she does. How uncomfortable. Yeah, so you know, oh, she's a huge gravestone on her back. I don't play. That's bad for your back, bro. <laughs> it's it's floating. So oh, it's floating. Yeah, that's her magic. Yeah. You know, she's decided she has to. Her bring... magic is she doesn't get scoliosis. She doesn't get scoliosis. <laughs> Good for her. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's it's that's her whole gimmick is that there's a lot of characters in it who like give you debuffs that cause your back to bend oh cool but she's immune to oh that's great yeah oh good for her she's immune to getting to she's immune getting back to, pain yeah 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 but the problem is she has double vulnerability to multiple sclerosis oh. <laughs> so oh no it's a trade-off dude that's fine it makes sense she gets hit she's like oh my sciatic <laughs> yeah that's a, those are all of her voice lines are like ah my sciatic <laughs> oh my psoriasis <laughs> Help, I've fallen. This gravestone won't let me get up. <laughs> what does she get? Little p- purple penis creatures? Uh, yeah, her thing is like she, she summons like a lot of... It looks like she just summons a lot of monster right, parts, like a, a tentacle whips someone or like a mouth yeah. comes out and bites someone. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see what she Yeah, is. no, it's cool. Like, That's cool. I don't play the game, so you know yeah, I can't so get too excited, know. but it's, no, it's, it looks fun. Neither am I. Um, let's see. Okay, and then finally... Not finally. We have a couple more things. We'll get to... We'll do re-release of Warcraft three. Yeah, now I'm right. Th- that's that's the RTS. That's a real time strategy. Right, the real time strategy. Yeah, the remastering Reforged. everything. Every so, so this is probably a good time to bring this up. Like all the reactions I've seen online that I share very much is like this is disappointing. BlizzCon was really disappointing. Everything that's new is 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 crap. Like yeah, Warcraft three remastered. Like who gives a crap? Like that I don't I don't care. Like. If I wanted to play Warcraft 3 that bad, I'd play it again. This is just a cash grab. They made a bunch of new models. It's the same game, though. There's not really anything different that they announced. They're just like, yep, look. Look at how ugly this model used to be 16 years ago when the game came out. Now look at it. It yeah. looks good, right? But like most of the... It's like... It's not even like you're blown away by the graphics. It's just like, yeah, that's kind of what a ga- that game would look like now if you made it. Like, maybe it looks a little bit worse than newer. Like, it doesn't look great. Yeah, I never played Warcraft 3. I did, I played... and I liked it, and I don't give a shit about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm... I didn't give a shit. I want to see. Was there, was there even a story with these games? Yeah, Warcraft 3 had a pretty in-depth story. That was the, did honestly, it? that was the best part. Like, you play as, like, you know the Lich King? Yes. You get to see how the Lich King became the Lich King, because he start like, at the beginning of Warcraft 3, he's your main character. You're playing as this guy named Arthas, and then he, like, kind of slowly makes, like, uh, bad decision after bad decision until he becomes corrupted by evil and becomes the Lich King. Like, that's really cool. Oh, the Frozen Throne. Yeah, that was the uh, add-on. Is it the dude who had the white hair on the cover? Yeah, Arthas. Yeah. They so. love doing, they love making like, evil people always have gray white hair. It's mm-hmm. like old people. Do you know what's villains. funny? Is Orphea had white hair too. The, yeah. The character for Heroes for the yeah, Storm. Yeah, she does. And then the character they announced for Overwatch also has white hair. Ah. Um, but before we talk about Overwatch, Diablo. I just... Yeah, Diablo, yeah, Diablo Mobile. Mobile. So again, no one wanted this. No one wants. Was it the first one? No, it's a new game. Oh. But literally, if you ever go on your phone and you look at like the stupid action RPGs, it's yeah. just that. It looks exactly like that. It's going to have microtransactions. Everyone oh. online is like, "What the crap is this? Give us an expansion for Diablo three, or give us Diablo four. Yes. Why are you wasting time and resources making a mobile game that's going to have micro? It's just like that. You, you know why? Kaching. Oh, I should get right. that in my sound effect board. But that's the problem. Is it's like this is Blizzard. This isn't EA. Like, why are you? Yeah. like sacrificing the quality of your franchises to try and make more money like people buy blizzard because they know if they buy a blizzard game it's going to be supported and good yeah 
this is going to be a good version of that kind of game, but no one wants it because it's a terrible direction for Blizzard to start taking. Yeah. And same with the Warcraft 3. Like, why is Blizzard re-releasing an old game with new graphics instead of making a new game? Why is Blizzard... Um, what was the other one? Uh, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, Warcraft? Yeah. Well, why are they re-releasing, like, WoW Classic? Like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, WoW Classic, yeah. Why do they have, like... It seems like they have three different development teams rehashing old properties. Yeah, they're, like, it's just sitting around being like, hey, you know what would be cool? And right. it's like, uh, you know, Warcraft 3? And everyone's like, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then you spoke of... So then they did... You spoke of the Overwatch character. Yeah, new Overwatch character Ash. Uh, so she looks like uh, she's a cowgirl. She's got a rifle. She looks she's kind a of rifle. like a sniper. You think she's a cowboy sniper? Yeah. Well, you who's see, the guy with her? Uh, okay, so that's Bob. Bob is honestly should have been his own character because he's dope as crap. He's yeah, this, he looks cool as shit. He's like an omnic with like a great curly Q mustache and a little derby, little hat. derby hat. He comes out for her ultimate, but it's not exactly clear what he does. Like it, his, her ultimate is Bob comes out. That's her so I don't know. What, I don't know what he does once he's out, but oh, he comes <laughs> out. Maybe he just like, you know, gives everyone a, a wax and a shave. He goes, oh, you know, hello. How do you do, sir? How yeah. do you do, sir? I'll clean that right up. I will. <laughs> I think she just came out and he goes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just runs screaming. <laughs> That's all he does. Okay, so like on the one hand, I don't like these sound effects because they're but not fun to like listen them? to. On the yeah. other hand, they're like they have nothing to do with them. No. Here's one. I was. Stop whining. <laughs> All right, that had something to do with it. Stop whining. That Stop worked. whining. Stop whining. Uh, do you think he Bob comes out and goes? Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> that would be her whole ultimate. You have to build up so you can have him come out and say toasty. He's just toasty. Amazing. Amazing. So they didn't have. I wonder what he does. Yeah. Uh, I think like he maybe damages just, other people. He has. Yeah. They showed him. They they also came out with a short film around him. Do you remember the level Route sixty six? It starts in a diner. The old Western town. Yeah, it's like an old western town, but there's yeah. like a train crash right in front of you when you get out of yes, the diner. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. So they showed a short film that shows how that happened and basically what oh. it was was Ash, that girl is robbing this train. They blew up the track while McCree was in the diner and McCree comes out and he like stops the whole gang and arrests everyone. Oh my god, he arrests everyone? Yeah, and the worst part is at the end they show a new character who's like a robot who looks a lot like Eve from Wally. Uh, like white, oh, like a white, white metal thing? skin. Yeah. Like she looks like she's kind of hovering, or like she has wings. Do they? How come they could keep adding these characters? They just keep balancing the game. Like they yeah. don't have to just delete characters. No, they, it's so no, weird. They're not going to delete characters. It's like so OP. weird. There's so many. I know. I love it. So you think that the white one might be? Well, I don't well, know. Well, they literally they were like, yeah, but she's not ready yet. Like the oh, Jeff Kaplan, who's like the guy behind Overwatch, yeah. came out and he was like, well, she's not ready. Like we don't know enough about her yet. So the new character is Ash instead, which is like the girl who was behind the robbery, yeah, which is this girl. Yeah, white hair again. Yep, like I said, Jesus H. Everyone they're, has white that's hair. That's the gimmick of the year for. I wonder if she she looks like she has a rifle. Yep. Maybe she's going to be like a Soldier 70 CX. No, because it's like a, 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 what do you call it? Like a pump, a pump action? Is it pump action? I feel like there's, maybe. But yeah, like you have to like, you, have to like yeah. yeah. You, you click, click down. A, you click down the, uh, the. Lever action. Boy, I, lever I think action. it's called lever action. Yeah. I thought lever action was you go. Chick, chick. Um, I don't know anything about guns. I'm sorry to all our Second Amendment listeners. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Wait, listen, can I be honest with you? I think it's an AR-15 hey. assault rifle <laughs> with tactical grip and a bump stock. Yeah, listen, I'm going to be honest again. I'm going to cut this part out, but yeah, we have a ton of Second Amendment. I figured. I'm so sorry. Uh, so All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-record uh, now. Okay, good. She uses a sawed-off shotgun. Oh, cool, 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 she cool. She does. She actually, whatever yeah. moves is, it looks like she pulls out a sawed-off shotgun for one shot, and then she throws a stick of dynamite. I cannot stop hitting this stuff. <laughs> uh, she throws a stick of dynamite as her other move. So really? she looks super fun. I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, I, I'm really excited for her. She looks great. Uh, Overwatch is super fun. Uh, I, I do like it a lot. I miss playing it. Yeah. Because we, we used to play it. Um, We used to play it a lot. Uh of Overwatch but yeah she looks she looks cool I mean Bob looks great I don't know any ultimates that have like different things coming out which is why I'm like right. trying to think of like what he could maybe he just comes out and maybe he he ho, ho, like finds people and punches them well he doesn't punch in the video he has like his wrist cannons kind of come out like the robots in Phantom Menace oh yeah Menace. I can see the picture here yeah yeah and he goes pow 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 so my, maybe what happens is it's like a temporary buff where he comes out and he like helps her shoot guys down and stuff like that yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's like a barrage of, he comes out and it's just a barrage of like, yeah, you know, like, could be 
like things or whatever. Because in the cinematic, it made it look like he went up and started like wrestling people around, but it wasn't clear if that was gameplay footage or if or it was like just, just cinematic scene. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they do that shit where it's just a cutscene. Oh my god! Do you know how many times they've done that? Do you want to know the number? It's over nine thousand. Yes. That's mm. what I'm talking about. I, 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 that was a good one. <laughs> That's such a good quote. I'm so glad that became a meme. That's a great quote. Yeah, he does it cool. He looks like he has six guns on his hand and he has yeah. a little derby hat. And I mean, he looks cool. When she come out? Uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. That's how it happened last year. I think they announced Moira and she came out within a couple of weeks. Ooh. The other cool thing is if yeah. your character has a gold nugget on it, you can trade that for a bottle of whiskey with while Bob's out, <laughs> which is useful. What? If you're if you're if you're playing Overwatch, okay, cool. And Bob comes out. If you're on either team, yeah. If you have a golden nugget with you, yeah, you can trade it to Bob for a bottle of. Oh, whiskey. that's cool. Oh, so yeah. his his ultimate is interrupted, and then he, well, he's like, oh, hang on a second. Every, every he goes, hang on a second, <laughs> and everyone's like puts their guns down, and yeah. they, they have to stop shooting and watch because like you know it's a free market. That makes sense. No violence around the money. No, of course please. Not. No, right. not around the money. Not around the money. Not around the money. You can't you can't do it. That's a <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> no, that was an accident. <laughs> um, and then also before we go away from Overwatch, then there was um, we have Lucio had an album drop. Yeah, Lu- there's a couple of Lucio things. There's something else I forgot to tell you about. That. What's the other thing? Do you so, remember? So Lucio has an album out that you can download for free at some website. Just search for Lucio album. Yeah. It's like a bunch of electronics. Oh, it's free. It's free. Yeah. I don't know how much we could play of it, but here is some of it. Like is this it? This sounds like cinematic music. Isn't yeah, that's it. it. Yeah. This is it? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, if you like electronic music, I think I actually yeah. think it's pretty cool for that. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Hold on, let me take some ecstasy real quick and see if this really if this really flows. But I like is it definitely sounds like when he actually, you know, plays his songs in game, like to heal or to speed everyone up, like I think those are actually two of the tracks. Oh, is it? Yeah. Let's see what that was. Oh, this is like this is like the what Overwatch it is. theme remix. Yeah, just like, just like yeah, 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 yeah. Time to keep the party moving. I was like the bass drop, the douche. <laughs> uh, that's cool. So that's a free thing. So the other one, uh, you were a Lucio main, right? Yeeting that. I mostly was like, <laughs> not really? Right. I mostly was uh, Junkrat and. Um, uh, Tim the Tool Man. Too. Yeah, like, Tim the Tool Man. Too. <laughs> that was Tim's ultimate. Was he would come out with a case of Binford tools and he go, <laughs> and then he throw the tool chest at everybody. <laughs> That's what you guys don't understand uh, what yeah. was in the game. Uh, I played. I think I mained as I like Junkrat and uh, Roadhog. All right. But I did Lucio as a healer. I would be Lucio. So Lucio had a spray that was like a box of cereal that said Lucio O's. Oh yeah. They're coming out with that cereal. Like Overwatch and Blizzard are doing a joint like marketing thing with Kellogg's and that's actually going to be on uh, shelves next month. Oh my God. But you know, it's the same thing as like Wrecking Ball came out. You know, that new character. Yeah, I remember him. He's a little hamster in a but ball. But everyone calls him Hammond because that's the character's name. Yeah. No one calls him Wrecking Ball. No. Why are they calling them Lucy O O's instead of Lucy O's, right? Like, yeah, it should be Lucy yeah, O's. Everyone, but that's not. I don't like that. Anyway, sorry. I'd like for, to write to the company. Sorry for everyone who doesn't play Overwatch. That's the only thing I uh, know about. So. For Overwatch is the cereal? Yeah. No, no, no. Just, I mean, like, that was a lot of Overwatch talk for people who don't like Overwatch. Like, I'm sorry. Well, well, Wait, do the I'm sorry. Play uh, Justin Bieber's I'm sorry. That'll I'll be give you a point. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'll, I'll give you a good one that I really like a lot. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's uh, Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. <laughs> nice. That's it. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Ian's pick of the week. Uh, play, oh, yeah, play the fanfare for that. Oh, your pick of the week? Yeah, my pick of the week. Oh, here you go. Hold on. Hold on. Let me play it. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> my pick of the week. Here's my treat to you. Go look up uh, Supercade and look up the Donkey Kong cartoon from like 1981 when they made a bunch of cartoons based on the popular arcade games at the time. There's the oh, funniest God. sequence I've ever seen. Like it's all Mario and Pauline chasing Donkey Kong around, and Pauline goes, "Don't you ever get tired of running?" And he goes, <laughs> "Oh, let's hear it. Here it is." Oh, the song. This is uh, so bad. It's my pick of the week, and I stand by it. <laughs> 
Dude, the song is like a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Today, on Saturday oh. It's so bad. It's horrible. And Donkey Kong's eating bananas. They love that, like, wow, shit. It's yeah, always old like cartoons. the weird. Yeah. Get it? It's funny. Boop, zip, 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 zippity doo. It's almost as bad as you with the soundboard. Oh, you think so? Yeah, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite thing. I the soundboard's my favorite sorry, thing. Sorry, TJ. I got pwned. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Epic victory royale. Very For, for the kids for Fortnite. Uh, anyone who hates a soundboard is... Denied. Me not using it. Um, so let's see. So then uh, before we get to that, let's find... Undertale creator Toby Fox released a free new game called Deltarune? Yeah. Ooh, a spicy new detail. I never played Undertale. Yeah, you really should check it out. I, I don't, know, it's I for the Switch, you said? Yeah, they put it out on Switch. It's 15 bucks, it's cheap. Get um, out of town. No, but it's awesome. Well, how fun is it? Like, what do you do? So you're like a kid who ends up underground. The really neat thing about it is you don't really have to fight anyone in it. You can always like kind of talk your way out of a battle, which is cool. Uh, it's... It's actually laugh out loud funny. Like I've I laughed a lot playing it. Uh, so yeah. Can you fight though? You can. Yeah, you oh. can p go through and just treat it like a regular RPG. You get new gear and you fight people. What the hell? Um, Why wasn't I not playing this? It's very much inspired by like Earthbound. Mm. If you haven't played that, I know like Monkey Island and stuff. No, no, Earthbound was like an old RPG. Oh man, I just downloaded like Thimbleweed Park, and this seems like this is a cooler game. What is Thimbleweed Park? It's like a the guys. Well, Thimbleweed Park is the guys that did uh, Ron Gilbert, who did um, uh, Monkey Gym. Island and Earthworm Jim. Yeah, did he do Earthworm Jim? He did. Um, do you remember that game? What was it called? Uh, no way. Ve Vectrix. Vector Man. Vector Man. Ron Gilbert. Yeah, it was Ron Gilbert. He did. No, are you lying? John Mack. Remember John? Toe Jam and Earl. No, no, John Mack. There were two cavemen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did that. <laughs> are he just naming games. He did that Sunday Fun Day. Oh, for God. Yeah, now I know you're lying. <laughs> you got me. You got me going up. I'm just trying to pull obscure games out of, you really are, like, out of the bin. <laughs> out of the Lester bargain bin. the Unlikely. Oh, there we go. I well, know that one. Uh, yeah, I should. So Undertale was really fun. And is the gameplay like you hack and slash and all that stuff? No, no. It's like an RPG. It's like a... Turn-based? Yeah, turn-based RPG. Crap, dude. Uh, I don't know a lot about Deltarune, but apparently like there's like new like details about the Undertale world because people like really like the story so and they want to uncover every secret and figure out the whole backstory. So this is just cool new information. And it's only 15, one five. Maybe I'll Deltarune, download it. Deltarune I think is free, but I think it's only on PC. But yeah, no, Undertale's, Undertale. Undertale's 15 on Switch. It. Yeah. It's like playing on Switch. Yeah. It took me about five hours to beat it. To beat it? It's not super long, yeah. Oh, it's short? Yeah. Oh, whatever. But I'm playing through it again, so like I already feel like I got more than my money's worth. Oh, you did? Yeah. Three, All right, so as $3 long as I play an hour it. seems like a fair price. Like three dollars an hour? That's yeah. how much I, I used to make at a Sun Coast video. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a laugh track. I used to work at a TNC Surf Designs. We were so excited when they came out with a video game based on it. <laughs> I used to work at Wipeout XL. Yeah. And then they came up with this game. I was like, whoa. Well, I used to work at Excitabike. Oh, cool. And cool. after that, I worked at Super Mario Brothers too. <laughs> Do you know what I like to tell people? If someone goes, hey, hey, oh, check out that Harley. I'm like, man, that ain't nothing. You should check out my Excite Bike at home. Yeah. And then I get punched Did with the chain. Did you say Excite Bike? I always said Excite a bike. I think it's Excite Bike. I think you're right. I don't know why me and like, you know, the dumb fucking kids I was around. <laughs> Can I say the F word? I just yeah, I it's fine. it out. That's fine. Uh, That's fine. We'd always say excite a bike because we were excited because we were dumb fucking dumb kids. Fucking kids. <laughs> like one kid said something like half the friend groups called it Ninja Gaiden, half oh, called it Ninja right. Gaiden. Yes. What school are you from? I, I Ninja Gaiden, which I guess was I right. Called it Gaiden. Yeah. Is it Gaiden? I think it's Gaiden. I feel stupid. It's all right. I thought it was Gaiden. Uh, some people called him uh, Ganon, and some people called Ganon. him uh, uh, Link. <laughs> what? The guy you play as in Mario yeah. Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sometimes like you refer to like having my dad on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what my dad would say. You know, he'd be like, oh, I think uh... Zelda, this is the name of the doctor in Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing that last night with Liz and she was destroying me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Which made me scared because I'm you like. playing on the, uh, what was it? What, they came out with Switch? one on 3DS and they had a Dr. Luigi version that was oh, like. Oh, for God's sakes. Got real mad about that. 
<laughs> Where's like, oh, that sucked. coming from? <laughs> like, I don't know, I just get mad. It just had slightly different rules. Like uh, what? <laughs> that makes you sick. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. All right. Yeah, Old man went. TJ can't deal with change. Well, Back in my day, Lu <laughs> Luigi was a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> he has no right to be a doctor. Yeah. He's got no right. Uh, so then um, also a bunch of announcements is Smash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smashy. So, so they announced a leak. Mm -hmm. uh, they called it the Grinch leak. Uh, apparently, a former, someone who worked at the company that was printing out promotional material for Smash, mm -hmm. which was also printing out material for the new Grinch movie that's coming out, oh. uh, supposedly leaked everything. They had like this poster with all the characters. Oh, I saw that. Right. So apparently someone who worked at the printing company leaked it. And everyone thought it was real because he had these like really realistic looking Grinch posters. And then those Grinch posters started appearing. Like, and that was before they were anywhere. So everyone oh. was like, oh, this guy definitely really works there because how else would he be able to get his get hands on things. these promotional Grinch posters? So these leaks must be real. And it was like everyone, almost everyone that people still wanted in Smash. It was like people ha had always wanted Banjo and Kazooie. They wanted Gino from Super Mario RPG. They wanted the chorus kids from some game that I haven't played before. Like people like that, you know? What was the weird thing? There was, there was a thing online with like a shadow that people like. Yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog. No, there was oh, like, like like a, a character's shadow? outline. Yeah, yeah. What the heck was that? Uh, it was. I think it was part of this. I don't. I don't know. The, it's, it's just it's, super weird to me. Anyway, yesterday they had the Nintendo Direct, and they actually announced the new characters. And they only announced like uh, that leak turned out to be fake. I don't know the backstory behind how it was faked, but uh, yeah. they announced Ken from Street Fighter, and they announced Incineroar. Incineroar from Pokemon and, and some Pokemon. Piranha Plant? I don't know. And Piranha Plant is the first DLC that you get for free if you pre-order. Oh, look at us getting pre-order stuff now. So, I mean, like, I'm happy with Piranha Plan. Incineroar, actually, I, you know, I stopped playing Pokemon after the first generation, but Incineroar looks like a pro wrestler style character who uh, has, like, a lot of fire moves. Like, he explodes with fire when he does his moves. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, I know who Incineroar is. He was an... Ev I played it as him. I in, had in him. In Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. He was an evolution. He's the final evolution of... Um, Incine Growl? <laughs> yep. It was in Cine Murmur and Cine Growl yep. and Cineroar. Yep, and then in Cine Cough, if you want to really do Cineroar's first evolution. Evolution. I wish we had a producer that can just do this. Yeah. Um, it's like Fire Cat or something. Oh, Litten. Litten. Oh, Lit Up Kitten. Yep, Lit Up Kitten. Is yeah. he a starter? Litten. Is that a starter Pokemon? Yeah. Okay. I had Litten. Then you have Tora Cat and then Incineroar. Tora Cat? Yeah, I don't know where Tora Cat. I guess Torch. Maybe that's not a play on words. Yeah, though. dude, they just they got. They're getting worse those. and worse with them. Of course they do. Butterfree was bad enough. Oh, Butterfree. Butterfree. <laughs> but <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog's coming. No, I don't think so. Ah, crap. That was just part of the leaks. Oh, it was. Oh, we, yeah. we don't. All, know. all those all those leaked characters are not. Announced for Super it. Super Mario RPG was rad. Oh, it was so good. I wish they'd come out with it again. I thought they did. Did they? Mm, I think for the SNES Mini. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did for the SNES Mini. But, like, I just want it on Switch. Like, I'd love to take that game with me. Yeah, I haven't played it in so long. I mean, like, uh, what was it? I was doing weird internet stuff last night. It was I was on a website called Salty Bet, which you guys should check. When I say weird internet stuff, I don't mean, like, anything. Uh, like no, but I've seen... Yeah, I've seen it's Salty Just Salty Bet. Bet's, like, a weird thing on the internet. You guys should check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's, what was what were you really watching? Insane. Just Salty Bet, though, with the guys fighting. But what was the good one? Uh, Jinx came up. Do you remember the character Jinx? He was, like, a the dojo master in Super Mario RPG you had to fight yes. in Monster Town. Yes. And I just got this like hunger to play that game again. I'm like, I can't play it without like either getting an SNES classic or like going and downloading ROMs or something um, like that. Or you could use a Raspberry Pi and play no, it. No, I know I could, but yeah, I should have done it. You that. don't have it, but maybe you could find one. I don't break the law. I know. I don't know how legal it is to... To say that on air? Yeah, I don't know. I don't oh, know. I see Jinx. He had like a weird green mohawk looked like an onion. Yeah, he was great. He was great. He, he was does look great. like an onion. He does look like an onion. He's like an onion with a green mohawk. Dude, he was great. Was he? Yeah. Do you know what his power level was? Um, It's over 9,000! That's yeah, what it so was. So you did know. Okay. Oh, huh. I knew. Uh, you didn't even have to say? Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. You didn't say it. <laughs> you didn't have to say it. Uh, they also announced a, a mode. I, I don't remember the name. It's like World of Light, actually. Let me I do see. Remember it's, the name. Uh, you have it written down here. It's called World of Light. It looks like an adventure mode, similar to Subspace yeah. MSR. How much time should we be spending talking about this stuff? I'm just going through all the news it's items. Fun. And it's too boring. And like We should be making jokes and be We are making jokes. Fun. You don't think we're having fun so far? I'm not having any fun. Why aren't you having fun? Just this... 
That's fun. Oh, do we just uh, level, uh, level up the yeah, show? Yeah, we did. Now the show's leveled up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I guess technically that's just the battle victory well, music. Well, the audience is sitting home. They're just like... <laughs> 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 yeah, but TJ... What oh is a man? What is a man but a thousand a bag of secrets? A miserable little pile of secrets. secrets. I Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. <laughs> <laughs> that's because they fired the eight. They hired Jill from Jill and John from HR to be like, can you guys just do? I know. Ugh. It's so bad. Yeah. They've done it for years. And then there was like a little <laughs> window of like regular voice actors, like someone like me. Yeah. And then it went right to celebrities. Yep. Went from H, Bill and HR to TJ Del Reno doing voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> for like maybe like five years and then they're like oh now it's all celebrities now Pat Oswald works in every, is every voice on every show <laughs> yeah now he's every yeah he's in every show wait what else they say they, he goes like you lead men astray or whatever you he goes, lead men astray perhaps the same could be said for all religions, religions. I know they take a knock at Christianity and everything <laughs> yeah Dracula <laughs> this is like Marilyn Manson, this edgy 13 year old. <laughs> uh, so does Christianity, mom. I don't believe, I'm not going to church. Yeah. Yeah, oh. mom. I had a dream last night. I had to tell my grandmother that I, why I wasn't going to church. Oh my God. So yeah. Really? Raised Catholic baby. Oh my God. I had a dream that I was uh, uh, doing comedy and Rodney Dangerfield was hosting. Really? And, and he, yeah. And I'll, and, and I did, he had me close the show. And I went he on didn't stage. Close? No, he didn't close, which is super weird. I'm just emceeing. Yeah, he didn't close. And then he had, and then I wrote a joke in my dream, which I'll tell you. And I, and, and it was like, it, it, the joke was like, I don't like tattoos because they're too permanent. And I don't have anything I'd want that permanently on my body mm -hmm. with enough meaning to have it on there. Like, I'd want what is a man, a miserable little yeah, pile, pile of secrets. secrets. So in the dream, this is my bit in the dream. This isn't me polishing it right now. This okay. is me in dream. I said, this was my closer. I said, uh, yeah, because tattoos are memorable and I don't want anything on my body unless it had meaning and I don't want to do it. Just like my friend, he went into a tattoo parlor and had the guy tattoo, I love mom, but he said it wrong and he has, I love mon, like, hey, mon, like, I love mon. <laughs> and then I said. Wait, this, is, this isn't this is the cleaned up version of the joke? No, this <laughs> This is not and then I said because this is good this thank, is, you, thank this you so much is, this is, they put this on the ads for their Comedy Central presents they should, like, yes oh it was weird that I wrote it and then the, the punchline was oh that wasn't the punchline no the punchline's not that he goes it said I love you mon and I go I can't believe that happened I'll never forget that day I have a tattooed on my left arm <laughs> The day, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not that's bad. A bit. That's no, not bad. It's, for for a dream joke. <laughs> for a dream joke, that's great, dude. I couldn't believe like, and everyone was like, <laughs> the whole audience went crazy. Yeah, but I really like. It was a weird dream. Is that actually recorded from your dream? Was uh, yes. Yeah, that's a sample. Yeah. I have a dreamscape device. I have a dream. that in my house takes up a lot of electricity. TJ, I have a dream. What is it? One day. Oh, good for you. Little black boys, little white boys, uh -huh. girls will all get to play together in the streets. Aww. Can you play the full I Have a Dream speech from Martin Luther King? Yeah. Do you have that on the soundboard? Uh, I don't. I have something close. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's so funny. You poor little thing with a dream. Um, so BlizzCon was uncomfortable. It Smash was uncomfortable. pretty cool. Yeah, Smash News is fun. Uh, people wanted more, but you know, I... I I, I understand wanting more. Like, there's definitely some disappointments. I would have loved Gino in there, but like, it's 79 characters. The game looks phenomenal. Like, it's a lot. It's 79 characters for free. You love Smash. I do. I do love. Smash. Is this going to be on Switch? Yep. Is this? Didn't they just make a Smash for Switch? No. The last Smash they made was Wii U, and that was like four years ago. What's the one that is on Switch? None. No. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one that's coming oh. out for Switch. It's coming out next month. Oh, I can't wait for Super Mario Brothers uh, U. Just kidding. Yeah, like like that. A that. remolded. Yeah, it's just a reskinned. Every, everyone's disappointed by that kind of news. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Like, just release something good, or at least like, I mean, I would want Mario RPG re-released. I don't want it reskinned. I want it re-released on you know. Yeah. But I don't. That's what I feel like is like, I don't want it reskinned. No. I don't want it redone. Like part of the charm of old Warcraft is how crappy the models look. Yeah, and it's also like, and also like, if the guys made, it's just the cash grab. Just yeah. like back to Blizzard, it's like those guys made the thing, and then it's just Blizzard. I love if Blizzard set up a whole infrastructure and then no one bought it. Everyone's yeah. like, no, you should have yeah. kept it free for those guys. Uh, Ian, Ian's advice for the week. Can I get the fanfare for Ian's advice? Oh for yeah, the week? yeah, hold on, uh, here it is. Uh, 
Here's advice of the week. Don't get Diablo Immortal. Like, hit no. Blizzard in the pocketbook. Tell them, yo, we don't want this random thing. Deny. Yes. That's what you say. Yeah, there it is. That's it. That's that it. was a toasty sound clip. That was it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a, yes, it was. That was a, that was a good one. Yeah. That's what your thing is. That was my thing. Your sound of the week. That's Watch some salty bets. Nothing else is coming out. That's it. I think we have, we have. Is that all the news? Yeah, that's everything that you put in. That's all the news that's fit to print. Yeah, that's all the news that's fit to print. Mm. I was running around all day because I've been unprepared for my own show. I like booking guests and have them do all the work. I had fun, man. I'm I mean, glad I, you did. I literally, I sat at work and I watched BlizzCon and I'm like, I have a reason to do this. Oh, that's good. I know. I would have watched boss, it anyway. Boss gets in trouble and you're like, no, I have to do a radio I show. I hope my boss isn't listening to this because I did, I did nothing at work today. <laughs> <laughs> I did serious? almost nothing. No! <laughs> that's your boss when he finds out. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm going to be out next week, and, yeah. you know, I don't know. I didn't need to get my work life. You guys don't care. I'm going to be out next week. I was like, yeah. I could start something and not finish it and have someone else finish yeah, it for me. Yeah, just start it. No, nah, don't even start it. Yeah. What a fun show. Do you have any, any parting words? Any wisdom? Um, uh, no. Can you play us out with the Dracula sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing in the world. For your symphony of the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Could that, you tell people you're... I'm going to mount the words and pretend like this is just me doing a perfect, like, line for line with perfect voice acting okay. recreation of this. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I found it. What? Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I want to get, like, to the beginning Whoa. of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here it is. Dope music. Die, monster. You that. don't belong in this world. Die, Die monster. Monster. You don't belong in this world. By the way, this was the 40th take of doing this. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah. just uh, Bill, a little more, a little yeah. more. What? Like like a human being would say it. Yeah, please, he's like, Bill, I, just, Bill. I can't. It was not, not by, by my, my hand, hand that I am once again given flesh. It is You're... not by my hand that I am once again given flesh. Again. 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 I was called here by humans. <laughs> I love the disdain. Uh, by uh, humans. It's like, it's so Krang or like Ivan Ooze. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some humans. humans. <laughs> <laughs> who wish to pay me tribute? Me. <laughs> who wish to pay me tribute? Like, he's just confused. Yo, I want to, like, actually do this as it's meant to be done. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should have printed it out. It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. Like, something, <laughs> like, That's yeah, good. like, you know, I also like the way of frightening, like intimidating demon would say, it, yeah. like Dracula. I also to be. love his demeanor is uh, is his hand on his face oh. and his legs crossed, like he's like, oh, here oh, we go. Legit, I do love that. I think that's pretty dope. That is dope. He's uh, just like he doesn't give a crap. He's not tribute. Scared. You steal men's souls. Souls. You steal men's souls. <laughs> and like, and make them your slaves. Here we go. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. <laughs> what is the That's it, Mom? <laughs> what is the intonation? All. All religions. And like, he's, he's like, mm -hmm. we need you to hit like four different musical notes when you say all. So like, <laughs> all. All religions. I'm telling you, this was like 40 takes in a sound booth that they were like, come on, please just. Or it was just, just one. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe it was. Maybe you're right. What's it? Your words are as empty as your soul. Your words. <laughs> Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. Now it's all normal, but then that one word is old English. <laughs> like the whole thing is normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mankind ill needs a savior. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start saying that around next time. I don't need anything. Yeah, yeah. If Liz is like, "Do you want water?" I'm like, "I ill need no water." <laughs> She'll be like, "What?" I'm like, "Ill need you to ask me questions." <laughs> <laughs> what is a man? A miserable throws, little pile of throw secrets. The glass. Yeah, he throws his glass. <laughs> so those of you who aren't watching the video, Dracula throws his glass, not at Simon, just onto the floor because yeah. he's so mad about oh, it. Just, he just throws it down. I usually do the same thing. It's at, so, you know what's so funny? But it's so queeny. It's like these like these like these big show-offy gay guys. Like, yeah. you know, what is a man? He throws his glass <laughs> yeah. against the wall. Yeah. He's, Belmont walked into a drag a show. show at a yeah. bar. And he's like, what? Everything is so flamboyant and over the top and campy. It's so funny <laughs> to me. I love it. But enough talk. Ooh. Have at you. Have at you is old timing. Have at you is very old timing. Yeah. What is a man? Chink. <laughs> Smash. He's like, and then Simon Belmont's like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'm going to get rid of him real quick. Yeah. I'm going to get him real quick. Simon Belmont's going to be in Smash Brothers. Oh, my God. Oh, Richter. That's Richter. So Richter, Richter Belmont. But Richter's then, also going to be in Smash yes, Brothers. Yes, and then they have, it's like it's like the same character, but he's yeah. a little different or something. Yep. What a fun show. Oh, Ian, what a great show. Thank you so much. If people wanted to enter Dracula's castle and see scrawled into a bloody wall your Twitter handle, <laughs> what would it say? Uh, you can look me up at Rex Saucy on Twitter, R-E-X-S-A-U-C-Y. Uh, if you're in New York City, you can check me out at Magnet Theater on Wednesdays with my improv team, Scout. Uh, I'm on Unlimited ri- Lives TV almost every week. Yep. Uh, so watch that on Twitch. That's, right. That's why I called you Cousin Ian. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. help, you write, and you produce it with us, and you're on it. It's very fun. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else to plug. Uh, I go to therapy on Tuesdays, but that's <laughs> but you're not invited to that. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Very yeah, cool. cool. Good. Huh? Good. Oh, uh, also yeah. keep uh, keep an ear out because uh, I think around the same time this comes out, I'm going to be on um, Playable Characters, which is a podcast you've been on, TJ. That's right. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Shy Guy from Mario Brothers. Oh, great. That's yeah, right. Brian I'm, McGinnis, who's a friend of the show and yep. also a friend of Unlimited Lives. He, yeah, that's right. Playable Characters. I think it's at Playable Pod mm-hmm. on Twitter. Um, but you can also Google Playable Podcast. And yeah, you're going to be, yeah, you should, yeah. your episode will be coming out soon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's coming out around the same time. It's coming oh, out next week sometime. So the same time this episode comes out. Good timing. Uh, and I, I got to say, I'm, I'm really proud of, I thought that was a really fun episode too. Not, was not as fun as this. But oh, good. thank you. And uh, you can follow the show at Unlimited SXM and you can rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes, please. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors. You can follow me on Twitter at TJ Del Reno, D E L R R E N O, all over social media and everywhere. And follow. Unlimited Lives Radio on Facebook. Like the page and uh, join the group. That's where we all talk and everyone's great. Guys, what a fun show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dusty. Oh. Dusty. That's it. Oh, also, still see. <laughs> how many more of these do you have? What's the number? 30. Oh, how was the number of these? It's over 9,000! Oh man, everyone's gonna be pissed. See you guys later! Good night.